So I was going through the order and I was trying to uh, assemble it to get dimensions for it, but it was just not lining up properly. And then after looking closer, it turns out that I received the wrong bucket. This here is bucket 4576. However, the um, figure is supposed to include a bucket 31088. Um, and as you can see, these don't connect. They're supposed to be able to connect like this somehow on the other bucket, but here they just don't connect. So I guess I can't add dimensions for these ones quite yet. I am about to message the seller, see if they can send the correct one or something, because that's the whole reason I placed this order here. Uh, I got a few other cheap parts with it, but then it was $18 on shipping and stuff like that for this. So uh, hopefully can get something uh because i don't want to have to place another order for that but uh, yeah then i'll see if i can eventually get that part in the mail but i uh, was at least able to add dimensions for things like this part and uh the wheelbase and stuff like that but then we will have to see uh if i can get to the that part then so now that i've messaged the seller about this and i'm waiting to hear back uh, I will put away the parts from the Berlin set from yesterday and then uh, work on some of the drawers from it that were too full and then try to get these parts out now. Just wanted to give a quick check in on the one by bricks that my dad was sorting. You can now see the bottom of the container uh, without having to move the stuff around. So that is pretty cool how that's getting emptier. And then. Um, uh, I think these are just loose in the box. Yeah, I see some. So I'll just put that there. Um, and then from the sets that are from uh, these shoe boxes, there's uh, there was four more upstairs that needed to be taken apart. And I think only one and a little bit are left. And then all of those are taken apart. And so those are the ones I'm list listing after I'm done with this. So great progress on that. And uh, so yeah, just currently parting out this set here. So uh, these uh, and these both go to box 246. So uh, yeah, I'll just finish with putting all of this stuff away. So just finished with uh, the Berlin set, getting all of that put away uh, from there. And so that is 268 items, 74 lots for 185, 23. Now uploaded, one drawer was too full, so I will work on that now and then get to the next one. So yeah, then just a quick overview of all of the other ones is that uh, there is these three somewhat larger ones, and then there is these seven somewhat smaller well this is a bit larger but so yeah there's these seven and these three so and then there's this one here so there's 11 sets from the haul that i uh, the other one but none of them are well, i mean this one's getting somewhat there but even that is still um well i'll take that apart in a minute but yeah none of them are even remotely close to like well i mean they are remotely close but it's not anywhere near the same as the uh uh, for example, the haunted house or the space shuttle or uh, the modulars. I think at most they might have like a, around half, maybe a little bit more the amount of bricks as those ones. So they aren't going to be too terribly long to work on in comparison. But uh, yeah, then I will work on this set next. So one of the real nice parts of the set I'm currently working on, which is the Sydney set, there is the 1x8 tile, which is like another 10, 15 bucks or somewhere around there, like a lot of the older architecture sets. But then this wheel here, uh, part uh 11208 is a very valuable part as well. Um, so let's just open that link up there uh so in metallic gold it goes for between 16 and 29 dollars so that is really nice uh let's see what the canadian market is looking like uh three available at 24 dollars one sold at 24 dollars but that is in brand new condition um and so yeah then probably right around the 20 depending on the condition maybe 22 and a half dollars used is probably what it's about going for um and in canada and then it's exclusive to two different ones it's also in this one here um but then uh yeah it's from this uh sydney lego set here which uh yeah it's uh some of these older architecture sets have some really nice parts in them that go for a good amount 
So then now uh, this one is also ready, so I'll get that put away, and then after that, it's just two more, so we are finally just about there after many months or something. So just finished with that set now, so that is another 351 items, 71 lots for 76.30, two of them I missed the remarks on somehow, so I'll just quickly go to inventory, missing my remarks, go, and they're here, and put those into that drawer, scan that in, that's done, uh, three drawers for two full, so I'll get that dealt with, and then on to the next one. Just finished with uh, the first part of the set now, so I'll get that put away, and then finally start on the last one, and the Lego brick just fell. Oh, there it is. I was looking for that. Well, I already changed the quantity of it, uh, so there should be eight here, so two, four, six, eight, yeah. So then I'll just put that one in the misorder drawer, eventually one day possibly sell it as bulk, but uh, yeah, time to get put away. Just finished with the next set, so that's 538 items, 134 four lots for 74.44. One item forgot them again, and uh, yeah, and then on to the next one. It's a, well, might be raining somewhere, but it's uh, definitely a lot of thunder happening. Oh, and on a side note, that does not look to be in that good of a condition, but it's definitely getting a little bit darker, hopefully, thunderstorm soon. So, just finished with the very last set. A few drawers were too full, so I'm going to work on that. But that is 590 items, 103 lots for 55.23. Now uploaded, so I will work on fixing these and then try to get as much of these uh, three containers of the minifigure parts, of the minifigures and stickered parts from the sets uploaded uh because these ones were cut aside because during the part out process you can't list stickered counterparts and for minifigures i put them in a different box uh that i don't have here so i just would mark them as deleted for each of the part outs and then i just have them here to work on um not sure if i'll list them here or just add them to my backlog uh we'll have to see on that but uh we'll at least for sure get all of the stickered parts uploaded so i'll work on this then work on that and then it'll finally be all done from the hall so yeah, now that all of that is sorted out, we will see if I'm able to get all of this done tonight. It's currently 5 to 10, and I usually work till quarter to 11, so that means I uh, should have a right around 50 minutes-ish uh, to work on these. So yeah, if I don't work on the minifigures, I mean, I'll list them eventually, but then I would just end up adding them to the backlog, um, then... Uh, uh, and just focus on the stickered parts, I could give each one a check over and add remarks, but otherwise use my overall somewhat generic sticker description that I use. I say, uh, has minor damage slash wear sticker is off center a little because every sticker is technically off center at least a little bit, uh, uh, except for like ultra impossible chances but even if it's only one micron off it still is off center so it's better to over describe damage than under describe it so uh i use that as my overall generic remark so then i will see how much of this i can get done then so as per normal i really underestimated how much time it would take and i am in no way getting this stuff done tonight um there is 190 items and i've only got 10 minutes left and i've only just finished the first process um so yeah i will finish that up tomorrow so it's tomorrow that we'll be done with that but then uh yeah for anyone curious this here is all of the minifigures from it it's not many um and so yeah i will just bag these up and add them to the backlog you're done so yeah, I thought I would be done them yesterday, but uh, yeah, like I uh, mentioned, it wasn't. But then now today, I can finally get all of these uh, stickered parts uploaded, along with a couple of the more miscellaneous items that were in the sets that were counterparts as well. Um, so yeah, then I will get this stuff uploaded. And then uh, after that, it'll all be done from the hall, excluding the minifigures. Um, but then I have been keeping track of the values of everything from the halls. I haven't added it up yet, but once I'm done that, I'll estimate, uh, I know there's some good stuff, but it's mostly city, so just for an even number, uh, I'll even write it down right now so I don't forget. I'll estimate just $100 for the minifigures. I know that's an underestimation, probably to a point, but uh, 
just do that there. Um, and so then we have that. And then I will add the total of these here uh, together uh, to this. And then we'll see what the total return on the haul was. I'll find uh, uh, when I bought it, how much I bought it for, and uh, that type of stuff. And then uh, see if it was worthwhile or not. Um, I'm... 100% nearly confident that I actually made money on this. Like, it just look like, like the 1-300, that would be 600. Um, that would be, well, with all the other things, that'd be about a thousand, and then, uh, 1250, and then 1650, uh, 1900, uh, 2300. So just between the large numbers there, we already technically broke even. Uh, but then just adding it all up, all of the numbers, and see how much it was, because uh, this year was months of work, or month, or something, I don't even remember when I bought this stuff, uh, but then see, was it worthwhile, uh, because the time that I spent working on this... Uh, was time that I couldn't work on the backlog, and so then because I couldn't work on the backlog, the backlog was delayed further, and because the backlog was delayed further, I'm not able to uh, work on the new strategies for selling, which are theoretically hopefully can help boost sales, so in theory, even if it might have been profitable, it might not have been the wisest decision to buy this, but we will run all of the numbers and see uh, if this was the best uh, strategy or not, but I will get this uploaded and then we can take a fun look at the haul. So just finished with all of the stickered parts and other counterparts. So there was 185 of them, 246 items total for 316.46. And that is now uploaded. Let's see what the uh, lot count of the store is at now. Uh, 20,500, so still a healthy amount. Um, but then, uh, yeah, I will work on the numbers for this thing then, and that will be the next clip. Okay, so I just ran all the numbers, so let's just do a quick walkthrough, um, because I know this type of stuff is interesting, um, uh, at least like when I watch it, so, uh, presumably at least some people watching this would be interested. So I first went ahead and added up all of the values, so yeah, just once more for clarification, each time, like once I got the haul, actually I'll pause real quick and get an image of the haul if I can find it. So here are some images of the haul because I know it's been a little while. I took a few images. So uh, like in the first one here, we can see we got like the treehouse, the Parisian restaurant, donut shop, uh, the bookstore. Uh, then we got Land Rover, Chinese New Year, Ghostbusters, this stuff here as well. And a little bit here. Um, and then we've got things, oh yeah, I forgot to include that, but it's a whole bunch of yellow, so maybe you could add 50 bucks to it, but it won't affect the total, really. Uh, then we got, like, Transformers, Mansion, Architecture Sets, the Vespa, um, and I, yeah, there's one more image here, uh, the spaceship here, and then also, um, there was a truck, uh, here, um, but looking at the images, there's one more, so I'll check that one. There's also a couple of these new sets here. Uh, so that's just what we got in the haul, uh, just so, so for some added reference. Um, and uh, so yeah, then each time, uh, like this year was like the one minifigure from the set that I put to eBay. Um, and then like each time a set was parted out or a set was listed complete, which there was only one of those, I think, and it... Uh, I think it was that one there for the Parisian restaurant or something. So yeah, whenever ev anything from that haul was listed, I wrote down the numbers here. And so then let's start looking at the uh, numbers now. So uh, once you add up all of the numbers, it is $6,564.91. Then I did a rough estimate because in general, I know it's not exactly that, but I use, usually try to account for about 10% in selling fees. It's like 3% to uh, BrickLink, then 35 or maybe it's even 4% now to PayPal. Uh, and then you also have like the 30 cent base fee on PayPal. And then on eBay, which some of the stuff went to, uh, you would have, uh, it's like 13% fees. And I think it's like a 50 cent base fee. So it's not an exact amount. Uh, it's just a rough estimate uh, 
that I usually just use for my calculations. So I knocked off 10% uh, for that, so that would bring us down to $5,908.42. Then I paid $2,000 for the haul, um, so that brings it down to $3,908.42, but it took 108 days to get it listed, and it took 3.55 months, so technically, I was only making about $1,100 a month uh, from that haul, uh, which um, it realistically, like, I mean, what, I, I don't know what the minimum wages in Canada or anything like that, but uh, it was for the most part, the only thing I really listed during that time period. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely not the best once you factored in, like, I mean, when you read that it's in theory, $3,900 profit, that sounds amazing, but then when you realize it is three and a half months of work, you start to realize, yeah, that was not that much, but the thing is, uh, it was a nice fun haul to go through, get listed, uh, more inventory, so yeah, it's nice, uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, now that I've actually finally gone ahead and calculated all of this stuff, uh, then I can now know for future references that, yeah, I definitely don't want to be going for generic sets like this again. Uh, it's definitely not worth it, uh, for that in that sense compared to, like, if I was buying minifigure lots and then listing those, it would have been much, much higher, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, uh, for some things like this much smaller haul here that I have, um, it was probably worth it a bit more because it included a bag of Star Wars minifigures, uh, which will be great sellers whenever I get around to finally listing them, and it's much smaller overall. Um, but yeah, then in general, this is good information that I was able to learn. But, uh, yeah, then I am finally all done with that haul, and then I am going to put away the final few drawers, um, and then, uh, yeah... Uh, later today, I can finally start listing stuff from the other hall here, and then an update on this part here. Uh, the seller uh, does have the part, and so they sent it out. I ordered a few other parts I needed for dimensions from them that uh, would make shipping more worthwhile. Uh, so yeah, then an update on that. And now the conclusion for the $2,000 haul for those who have been curious because it has been a work in progress for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, it is now done. But yeah, then there's some added context that I forgot because it might help explain it a bit. Um, if this was like just a side uh, hobby or something like that, then $1,100 a month, if I was just spending like a couple hours in the basement a day or a week or something like that, then that would be perfectly fine. But the thing is, I do do this full time. I mean, it's not like I make a lot of money, but currently uh, my living expenses are low, so it's affordable and I can do it. Uh, but if I ever want to like own my own house or something like that, you definitely can't survive off of $1,100 a month for full month work and stuff like that and then it's full month that would include like shipping days because I still have to ship orders out and uh, I work six days a week so it's not technically that so the numbers aren't like exact uh, down to the decimal point or anything like that but it's just like a really rough estimate to just try to help put it in perspective in that sense. So yeah, then just for a little bit of added context, um, then for where I live uh, in Brampton, it is just shy of two and a half thousand dollars a month for your average rent. Um, and uh, so yeah, then in this here would be technically the total profit. Um, and so then, but the thing is for that, I would use that 1100 to buy more stuff because otherwise I couldn't have more deals like this and so on. So yeah, then it is, uh, definitely nowhere nearly enough, uh, for stuff like that. But then, yeah, this is why in general used, unless you're dealing in specialized stuff, uh, is not. Uh, really something that is good unless you're just kind of doing it for fun on the side and stuff like that. Uh, it's not really expandable uh, or anything like that compared to if it was new sets or something like that. And that's why in general, most of the larger stores only have um, new stuff. And like, I mean, like wait, I know some, a lot of them have like used stuff as well, but in general, most people they if they have an option between parting out like 100 used sets and 100 new sets even if they make say 
50% less profit on the new sets, they'll usually still choose the new sets because it's something you can grow exponentially in that sense compared to used sets. Um, but yeah, then there's just some added context. But the thing is, used can still be profitable um, if you specialize in like minifigure parts or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, then um, uh, I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll see if I can remember that, but uh, yeah, otherwise that is uh, just some interesting math. But yeah, then one final thing uh, is that I completely forgot almost, or I might have mis misexplained or something like that, is I did, like, I mean, it's not like for three and a half months I just sat here six days a week, 12 hours a day, listing this haul or anything like that. I did list other smaller things in between. Uh, there was uh, like a week or two in there that I was parting out some new sets from the May the 4th uh, purchases and stuff like that. Um, so, like, I mean, realistically, that number could be higher. Uh, well, I mean, it is going to be a bit higher than that, uh, but yeah, it's just, in general, this was like the main focus, uh, with only a few, uh, exceptions for the three and a half months, and so yeah, then I was just, uh, wanted to clarify that, uh, but yeah, then it is now time to start on some of this stuff, and for this stuff here, um, I can't say I know all that much about what is in even, what is even in many of these here, like, I mean, some of them have some things that could help me identify them, uh, but then other ones, there was the one part here that might be able to help me figure out what set this is and stuff like that. Like, I mean, I know this one's like the defense on crate because of the dark red plates there and the sticker part and stuff like that. Uh, and I know there's like a turbo tank. I think that's this one. Then there's like an AT-AT. -AT. Uh, this here is the, like the Imperial ship, I think. This was Kylo Ren's shuttle, I think. Uh, this one's got the orange part. So this here is actually probably the one, uh, thing that had the orange box on the back of the set, perhaps, and stuff like that, but yeah, then I'm just going to go ahead, and for these ones, I have to identify the set, the first thing I generally do is I sort it all by color, it just makes it a lot easier when I actually get to listing, and for these parts here, uh, I'm going to have to definitely be extra careful to double check for dust and stuff like that, because a lot of them are just really dusty, like, you can still see it on some of them, I tried getting rid of a whole bunch of it, but it's still there, and the brick is definitely shiny, that is, uh, very shiny, Tiny. Um, but uh, yeah, then I will get to work on this now. Though I do need some more new drawers first. And then in the previous vlog, uh, some people mentioned about asking people to add dimensions for some parts that uh, are missing on Bricklink. And uh, so then uh, Sato Bricks, uh, I might have said that wrong. Uh, is it Sato or Sato? One second. Uh, let's see here. Just getting it up here. Uh, yeah, Saito Bricks, uh, found out that the one person who's on the forums a little bit, uh, well, a decent amount, uh, actually has the Quattro minifigure for sale, which, for those who don't know, is, like, one of the most expensive minifigures, uh, that wasn't, like, Mr. Gold, impossible to get, or, well, it might have been rarer than that, I don't know, but either way, he's got it, it's, like, a five, six hundred dollar minifigure, so, uh, he reached out to him, and he said he'll try to work on the dimensions for that, so we might actually have... Uh, that one knocked out, and that would be a really nice one, um, and, uh, Quattro, um, so I think that's, um, I know the name escapes me, though, for a minute, um, what's the username, uh, yeah, Stuart9, that's the username, I couldn't remember, and see, so, yeah, he has it there, has some tooth marks on the hair, uh, there, but that won't affect dimensions, and so, yeah, he said he'll try to work on some of that, so that's pretty exciting, um, and yeah, I'll get to putting this stuff away, so let's just put these into box 247, um, which is here, it's probably just loose in the box, and that is not working out too well, I don't know, okay, no, well, that one's there. Okay. Oh, well, that did not work. Uh, let's make sure nothing happened. Nope, didn't get damaged. Lego's pretty resilient. Even if you drop it a little bit, it won't damage it. Uh, so yeah, then there's that there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, put the rest of it away. So just finished with that first set there. So that is 338 items, 107 lots for 3301. And that's now uploaded. One drawer too full. Fix that and then start pulling orders. So then, uh, just sold this visor here, pearl dark gray, for six, uh, no, for 48.86, so that was a nice order. So I wanted to give a progress update on the, uh, stuff that my dad was sorting, and finally, 
Uh, we are now completely finished with the initial sort of the one by and two by bricks. So like we've got all the two by fours, the two by twos, two by threes, one by six, one by four, one by two, and all the other ones there. And now we are getting to the sort of uh, sorting them all by color, which is the very last step uh, before the actual listing process. And like, for example, we can just see just how yellowed some of these things are. Um, so yeah, then, uh, yeah, these ones here, like I mentioned recently, are uh, the next priority up uh, because uh, we just about have the boxes completely used up to there. So we're going to be starting to use some of the ones at the bottom shelf. And we kind of need these listed because uh, they're going to be using up a lot of those. And uh, so yeah, then lots of progress over here so that is really good and see so yeah, once i've done the 10 sets that i mentioned earlier uh then it will be uh listing all of these two by bricks and then uh the one by bricks at some point i'm not sure exactly when yet might work on some of the other backlog first that's already been sorted like the technique or something but then uh, yeah gonna get uh this stuff uh listed soon but the one thing I completely forgot about is that I still have this set here, uh, which is from the $2,000 haul, which is still just sitting here, and I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just wanted to show that I didn't completely forget about it, It's but it's still just kind of sitting here, uh, sitting here doing nothing, really. Yogurt time. So yeah, then, uh, I think like a day or two, Bricklink must have rolled out a new update or something like that. Uh, because, uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of pages just simply aren't working on BrickLink nearly as fast. I mean, now that I'm here, it'll probably work recording, but, uh, well, like, you can see, I click on the page here, and you can see the mouse change, but, like, nothing happens. Sometimes it takes, like, five seconds for the page to load, other times it just doesn't load for five minutes and stuff like that, so they definitely did something that's, uh, not too good for BrickLink, it's still loading and loading, but uh, yeah, then I am going to at least attempt, oh, there we go, it just finally loaded there, but I am going to attempt to pull the last few orders uh, and hope that it doesn't break while I'm doing that, and then can get things shipped out and then uh, work on the next one of these. But yeah, I can't even send a quote to a customer. I keep getting server timeouts. I enter in the shipping cost and the tax and click send invoice and it loads for like five minutes and then I get internal service error. Um, some other people, including myself the other day, are having the same issue for the standard invoicing option. But for there, you can click on edit order and then you can adjust it there and it works from that place. But uh, for the quote option, that isn't something you can do. Uh, so then it is just timing out. And so I can't uh, send them a quote. If there was an invoice, I probably could. So hopefully BrickLink gets it fixed soon because I even tried to just open up the message to respond to it, uh, but it's still loading as well. So uh, yeah, it is definitely not BrickLink's uh, best day. So BrickLink is now working all normally again, so that's good. Um, and all of the orders are now shipped out. And uh, so yeah, then it is time to work on the next part out and just see that these things are still together a bit. Take those apart there, if I can, there we go. Uh, so yeah, then I will start on the next set. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason on as to which one I'll choose, because, I mean, there's a couple somewhat smaller ones, uh, like the two Starfighters. But besides that, they're all relatively larger sets. Uh, so, yeah, then I will start on the uh, Kylo Ren's shuttle. At least that's what I think this is. Um, and, uh, yeah, get to work on that one. And put these to the side. And, yeah, get to work on that. So, have all the parts out, and I was mistaken, this isn't Kylo Ren's shuttle, this is Director Krennic's shuttle, I think that's who it is. I'm not sure if there is Kylo's Ren shuttle in here, or if I was just mistaking it the whole time. I'm not seeing any other uh, shuttles, so it could very well be that there is no Kylo Ren's shuttles. A shuttle, uh, yeah, that one's not it. Uh, so yeah, who knows on that, but uh, yeah, then I will get these parts put away and then probably call it a day. 
So just finished with all of those parts. So that is 773 items, 173 lots for 78.86. Now uploaded, three drawers too full, so I'll address that. Then uh, I am going to lower my shipping cost to Hong Kong because I just shipped a package there and the price has dropped uh, a little bit. So I'm going to adjust that. Um, so yeah, I will do that and then call it a day. Yogurt time. But yeah, then... Uh, uh, yeah, today I will, I will first straighten out that monitor, uh, but yeah, then I'll see if I can get one or maybe even two of these here, uh, parted out, uh, and then get some of that stuff done. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, that, oh yeah, well, if you take the stickers off, I know this one is worth a good amount, and I'm not sure how much it's worth with stickers on, but this is a very nice windscreen here, but, uh, yeah, then I am going to uh work on uh getting a little bit of this stuff done um but yeah this is the end of the vlog uh yeah today is saturday so the next vlog should be out on wednesday so thank you for watching if you got this far